Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about pericardiosynthesis. What is pericardiosynthesis? Pericardiosynthesis is the drainage of fluid from the pericardial space. Okay, so that is aspiration or drainage of fluid from the pericardial cavity. Okay, we know that pericardial cavity is a space between the parietal layer of the serous pericardium and the visceral layer of the serous pericardium. We got that. What are the indication? Pericardial synthesis is essential to drain the fluid from the pericardial cavity in case of pericardial effusion. Effusion, there is collection of fluid in the pericardial cavity, or also it is indicated in case of cardiac tamponade. There is very essential, okay. So it should be done very quickly in cardiac tamponade. It is an emergency situation when there is a repeat collection of fluid inside the pericardial cavity that compresses the heart, especially the right atrium and also the right ventricle, because because these are thinner than that of the of the left ventricle. So the atrial side, especially the right atrium is, comp is compressed due to the rapid collection of fluid inside the pericardial cavity. The, so the superior vena cava cannot dump blood into the right atrium. There will be engorgement of the head and neck vein. In case of cardiac tamponade, that is an emergency situation. We need pericardial synthesis. Okay, so how can I do pericardiosynthesis? Pericardiosynthesis is done by a wide bore needle. We need a wide bore needle. Wide bore needle. Okay. And we have two approach. One approach is along the, we have two approaches. Approaches. One approach through the left fifth intercostal space, left fifth or sixth intercostal space, intercostal space lateral to the sternum lateral to the sternum, just lateral to the sternal border, lateral to the sternal border. This is one approach. Another approach through the costo sternal angle through the the costo sternal angle especially on the left side, costo-sternal angle. Okay. So, two approaches. We can go to the pericardial cavity to draw the fluid or blood that is present there. So, we have to do the pericardial synthesis by white board needle. Okay. So, we have to know what structures are encountered? What anatomical structures? Anatomical structures are encountered in the in this 
in in pericardial synthesis in pericardial synthesis okay so we have two approach one is going for the left fifth intercostal space so if you go through the lateral border of the sternum lateral border of the sternum at left fifth or sixth intercostal space okay what structure we will encounter and why we like this left fifth and sixth intercostal space idea is that left fifth or sixth intercostal space here we have cardiac notch of the lung it is deviated towards the left side so when we pass a needle we may not penetrate the lung and also the pleura is also deviated towards the left side so lungs and pleura are not covering this part of the heart if you can penetrate there we can, we can go to the pericardial sac without damaging the lung there is the idea because of the presence of cardiac notch on the anterior border of the left lung okay what structures are encountered okay we we'll go one by one we'll get skin we'll get superficial fascia skin superficial fascia external intercostal membrane external intercostal membrane then we'll get the internal intercostal muscle internal intercostal muscle okay then we'll get the transversus thoracic muscle transversus transversus thoracis thoracis muscle okay then we'll go to the fibrous pericardium fibrous pericardium then we'll go to the parietal layer of serous pericardium parietal layer of serous pericardium serous pericardium cardium now we go to the pericardial cavity we reach the pericardial cavity we go to the now after that we go to the pericardial cavity okay so our needle now we draw the fluid from the pericardial cavity so one skin layer number two superior fascia, superficial fascia number three external intercostal membrane number four internal intercostal muscle number five transversus thoracis muscle six fibrous pericardium seven parietal layer of serous pericardium now we'll go to the pericardial cavity this is the approach for the lateral border of the sternum and the left fifth intercostal space okay we can go through that way this is one approach to do pericardial synthesis we have another approach okay through the infrasternal angle so what structures are encountered in perioca Peri pericardio synthesis okay in infra sternal angle angle approach okay what are the structures you get skin superficial fascia but this structure should be different 
okay we go through that part so skin superficial fascia rectus then we'll get the anterior layer of the rectus sheet anterior layer of the rectus sheet rectus sheet then we get the rectus abdominis muscle rectus abdominis muscle okay we got skin superficial fascia anterior rectus sheet that is abdominis muscle we get the transversus abdominis muscle transversus abdominis muscle abdominis muscle okay we got transversus abdominis muscle then we'll go to the fibrous pericardium fibrous pericardium then we'll go to the parietal layer of serous pericardium layer of serous pericardium now we we'll go to the pericardial cavity pericardial cavity okay so we got the skin superficial fascia anterior layer of the rectus sheet rectus abdominis muscle transversus abdominis muscle fibrous pericardium parietal layer of serous pericardium this will be encountered in pericardiosynthesis in infrasternal angle approach okay so we have two approaches usual usually it is infrasternal angle here the sternum the costal cartilage we should go to through the left side here okay usually the needle is pushed backward and upward to go to the pericardial cavity but to remember that in this procedure we may have chance to damage the internal thoracic artery especially its termination into the superficial into the musculophrenic artery and the superior epigastric artery so we may have chance to damage the termination of the internal thoracic artery or its terminal branches like that of the musculophrenic artery and the superior epigastric artery in our previous approach through the left fifth intercostal space here along the cardiac nodes cardiac nodes may be variable from lungs to lungs some cardiac nodes may be large sometimes it may be small so even in an expert hand on rare occasion when the cardiac nodes is very much indistinct or not very much big size then we may have damage to the lung that may lead to pneumothorax okay so these are the pericardial sentences but idea is that in case of acute hemopericardium we may need to go through thoracotomy and to repair the site of damage so that's all about the pericardial sentences if you like my video please subscribe my channel please share the information with your friends if you have any question please feel free to ask me have a nice day. Bye now.